Hi y'all, it's Sky, and thanks for visiting my channel. Welcome back for another edition of the New Arrival Roundup. I'm actually recording it all on the same day this time, so it, it is actually Friday for me, and I am going to do this all in one big chunk this time. Usually, I record parts of this on Thursday, and then record a clip at the tail end on Friday, and it makes the video all weird. But this week, we don't have to be weird. We can do this the regular way. If you've been following the saga of sickness in my household, I think it's over. I hope I'm not cursing myself by saying that, but everyone seems like they're better. No one else has gotten sick. I didn't get sick. I could not be more delighted about that outcome. As far as diamond painting goes, I have not done any this week. I, my house has been a topsy-turvy mess. We're like buying furniture. We're maybe house hunting. I don't know what we're doing. It's been a very strange week here in my house, but we are going to look at what Diamond Art Club has posted on their various social medias this week so I can see what's actually coming out <laughs> this Saturday. I haven't had that much of a chance to really look at the images that much. I have, I have seen them, but that's about all I can say. So Today, we will take a look at that. I will give you my thoughts if you care, but you can formulate your own thoughts because I'm going to show the images that Diamond Art Club has posted this week. I'll tell you about the ones that released on, on Wednesday, right? Yes, there was a Wednesday release. Yes. <laughs> See, I've already forgotten. That's how uh, crazy this week has been for me. But yes, we'll talk about the Wednesday releases and we'll talk about the ones that are going to release on Saturday. So this weekend's releases will be tomorrow, the 25th of June, and the release windows for Diamond and Ruby level members will be at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time, and then the general access release will start at 9.30 Pacific Time, 12.30 Eastern Time. Also, down below in the description box, I will leave the links for the sneak peeks that have been posted for these kits. I do not know if all of them got sneak peeks or not, but whatever is posted will be down below and I will try to update it as more of the sneak peekers are able to get their kits. There have been a lot of shipping delays recently, which has led to Diamond Art Club not receiving the kits and then therefore the sneak peeker not receiving their kits on time to get out a sneak peek. So it becomes a first look down the road after the release has happened. We call it a first look. So if first looks get posted, I will try to remember to add those down there. But for now, for today, we'll just we'll just have the sneak peeks. So take a look down in the description box if there are any of these images we look at. If you're interested in looking at the details of the kit, then there will be a video with that information down below. Okay, here we are on Diamond Art Club's Instagram page. Boy, I really hope my mic is working because it wasn't working earlier. And if it's not working now, then this video is going to be really dumb. Um... So, I guess we, we will start with the Wednesday releases. So, we had another batch of the uh, DC heroes and, and some villains. This one, see, this is another one of these weeks where Diamond Art Club, I guess now that they've done it several weeks in a row, I can just call it that this is how Diamond Art Club does it now. They post more than one image in a single uh, post, and it takes me a little longer to figure out the one I want to be referencing. So this is the first one. Yes. Okay. So Justice League of America. That's what this one's called. It is 107 centimeters by 70 centimeters. It is square drill. Has 66 colors with four ABs. That's a lot of colors. And then here's the rendering on that one. I guess I should check it out on Facebook. Just, I don't, I don't think it's cut off, but maybe. No, I think it was fine, but this is bigger. So here's the original image, and then there is the rendering. This one's this one's really good. Is this the one though that didn't actually release? Um, no, maybe it was the other one. So one of these that we're gonna look at, like said, sold out as soon as the release window hit on Wednesday. It said it was sold out, but what actually happened was again the the shipping delays, and this one didn't come in on time and it's been kind of delayed pretty heavily so instead of just like making you pre-order it or whatever they're just going to go ahead and let you sign up for the emails 
to like get a notification when it is in stock. Um, I think it was a good way of, of handling it. I'm not sure that it was this particular image though, so don't hold me to that. I, I can check the website and find out. It wasn't. It wasn't this one. So just ignore all those things that I said. We'll talk about it more when we get to the one that actually is the one that, that says sold out or get notified or, or whatever, depending on whether you're looking at the app or the website. Anyway, this one's very nice. I like this. I don't even know if I already said that, but I do. I like it. I am not as much into heroes as I am the villains, though we, we are big on Batman in this house. We do like Batman. Wonder Woman is always a joy, but um, yeah, I don't have tons to say other than this is a really cool image. And then moving along, I like this one a lot. I think it might be cut off though. This is Batman Hush. It is 128 centimeters by 70 centimeters. It's square drill, 54 colors with two ABs. And there is the rendering. I have no idea about if it's cut off or not. I think it was a little bit. Oh, was Robin completely cut off? <laughs> Don't do Robin like that, Instagram. Come on. <laughs> okay. Anyway, this is the full image. And then here's the full rendering. I said we are big fans of Batman. So this one I, I really liked. Um, again... I, I don't have like a super lot to say. I think that it was, let me go back to the original image real quick. I think the rendering is really nice. Like look how much detail is in the original image and look how much they had to translate over. Like everybody still, like you tell who everybody is, you can see all this detail in the background. That That's very impressive. A lot of times you can see a piece as detailed as this and you're, you're thinking this, there's no way. There's no way. But they do. They do this. Diamond Art Club can make it happen. And I definitely feel like this is this is a success. Okay, there's a third one in here. This is the one. This is the one. Okay, so this one's called Justice League. It is 114 centimeter by 70 centimeter. It is square drill, 40 colors with four ABs. And then... There is the rendering. This is the one. Let, let me just real quickly. We're veering off course, but I'm going to show you. So when this one popped up on the website, it looked like this, where it says get notified. So that usually means like, hey, it's sold out and you can enter your email address in and you will get a text message or an email or whatever whenever these uh, this kit comes back in stock. But, well, let me click it. Okay, see, it's the email, when back in stock, but then if you come down here to the description, it says that you, if there, since there was an unforeseen customs delay, this kit is set to arrive in mid-July, and they want you to sign up for the alert so you can be notified when it is here, and you can purchase it. So that, I feel like, is a really good way of handling that uh, versus a, a pre-order, because there have been times when the shipping delays have happened and they just, they do a pre-order. And I imagine just, I don't know for sure, but I imagine that results in a lot of emails saying, when am I getting it? When am I getting it? And with shipping the way it is right now, don't know. We don't know when you're getting it. <laughs> and so I feel like this is a really good solution where you, they'll send you an email when you can order it. And I, I, I thought that was smart. I don't know like if they really put a lot of planning into that or if they were just like, yeah, well, let's do it this way. But I think that was smart. <laughs> but anyway, if you like this one, go sign up for those email alerts and you will know when it is ready for purchase. I should show it to you on Facebook. There's the original image on Facebook. And there is the rendering. This, this one's really good. I mean, they're all really good, but this one, I, I like the like full body shots here get get the whole head to toe cool superhero costumes i think it's cute okay there is another one in this post this one is called destruction awaits it is a 70 centimeter by 109 centimeter it is square drill it has 58 colors with three ab's full image on our facebook page we will look at that there's the rendering here but here is the full image and here is the full rendering. 
I did the sneak peek for this one. I'll, I'll link it down below if you want to see a more in-depth look at this kit. Um, I can say, well, obviously the one that I got, I'm going to say is my favorite out of this release. But like I just said, I like the villains. And this is a bunch of villains. And I feel like the rendering for this one was really spot on. Like the, these characters that are kind of in the background, like Cheetah back here, like the, you can still tell who they are. And then I love Harley Quinn. I love this face. Not sure what she's really doing with her face, but I love it. And it, the red in the background is super cool. Um, I do feel like this is... This is only going to appeal to like certain people. I get that. And I think a lot of people have been kind of off put by all of these uh, DC releases or like TV show themed releases or, or whatever. I feel like people have been, I've seen more complaining than usual, I guess, about these kits. And, and I get it. I understand that not everybody's going to like this. I like this. But I'm not going to try to persuade you to like it. I understand that there's only going to be... This, this is only for some people. But I do I do like it. And Diamond Art Club has said that this is just like a batch. Like they order things in batches. And this batch just happened to have a lot of this type of thing in it. So don't worry if you guys don't like this type of stuff. This isn't forever. They haven't like decided to go into this market exclusively with heroes and villains and TV shows and Harry Potter and that type of thing. So don't worry about that. But if you are interested in this type of thing, I've got to say, I highly recommend this kit. I was really, really impressed with it and I can't wait to work on it. Okay, that is all for that particular post. Got another one for the Wednesday releases. This one, I love this one. This is called The Bat and the Cat. It is 70 centimeter by 107 centimeter. It is square drill. It has 47 colors with four ABs. And there's the rendering. They're so good. Okay, here's the full image on Facebook. Here is the full rendering. The detail that they've put into this is just so good. And I, I love this one. I love this one. And I'll, what is that one? It was released several months ago, but it was um, The Kiss, I think it was called. It was Superman and Wonder Woman. I love that. I love this. And I, I just, I can't get over the rendering on it. I mean, it's a lot of dark colors and you have to figure out how to like differentiate all of these details from each other, even though it's a bunch of dark colors. Perfect. They did it perfect. I love it. I don't want, I, I feel like I'm spending way too long on the, like, superhero stuff because I, I'm worried that a lot of people don't want to hear about it, but <laughs> I really, I really like this one. Okay, and I'm going to stop hyping it, but I, I really think that's beautiful. Okay, next one. This is Meow. It is 70 centimeter by 99 centimeter. It's square drill, 36 colors with three ABs. And there's the rendering. Here's the full image. I think it was cut off a little bit at the bottom or something. Somewhere it was cut off, but here is the full rendering. I really like this one too. I, uh, I'm i a pretty big fan of Catwoman. So, of course, I was into these. But I, I like that this one is... This is a different style than the others. Uh, kind of like the uh, Wonder Woman pop art one from maybe last week or the week before. But just kind of like a different vibe. And and I like that. I like that they throw those in with like the ones that are really like the comic book style artwork. And then you have one that's that's like this that's a little bit like more feminine, a little bit softer, just a, just a little bit different. I don't know, but I like the colors in this one. I do think it would be like some pretty heavy color blocking in the background, but it is broken up. You can you can see that there's like some different um dark grays. Maybe, is that a dark blue? Oh gosh, I don't even want to try to differentiate what these colors are, but there is, um, it's not just a straight up 310 background, it looks like to me anyway. Okay, I think there's one more. Oh yeah, yeah, it's the um, Batman that 
I'm not, are we not supposed to say who the artist is to this? I think we all know who it is, but um, I, I'm not sure what the deal is with these like special licensing agreements. Like, I'm not sure if the artist is the one that we're crediting for this or if it's like the DC universe is who we're licensed, Demon Art Club has licensed this through. I, I don't know. I'm getting way too deep in my thoughts today. But anyway, um, if we're allowed to say, then um, this is a Mandy Manzano piece. <laughs> if we're not allowed to say, then just pretend that I didn't say that. This is Batman, and it is 51 centimeters by 76 centimeters. It is square drill. It has 29 colors with three ABs. And here is the rendering. I'm not sure if it's cut off or not. Oh, gosh, yes. It was very cut off. Um, Here's the full image. Here's the rendering. I love it. Why didn't I buy this? Like, I am, um, I'm liking it more and more now. I, I never even did actually look at the full image on Facebook. I just saw the Instagram one. I was like, that's cool. But now that I see the full image, this is really good. I really like it. I don't know if I could, but this is kind of the same thing with the uh, Snape release from last week where like I really, really love it, but it's just so much of the same color. <laughs> and I think I might run into that with this one too, but you know, you've got all this uh, cool color change in here in his abs because you got to differentiate those. Uh, then the background is, is definitely a different vibe from the rest. So I don't know. I really do like it. Okay, this is not this is not the time for me to talk myself into buying stuff. Oh, there's another one. Did I say this was the last one? I may have said that. Oh, uh, I was wrong. So here, there's another one. This one's called Shadows of the Night. It is 70 centimeters by 107 centimeters. It is square drill. It has 53 colors with three ABs. And there's the rendering probably cut off. Yep, yep, it was cut off. There's the original... And there's the rendering. Gosh, they, they did so good. Oh my goodness. I've got, this is the original again. And all of this stuff in the background, it's it's got like a different colorway to it. Like it's, they're almost like transparent. Like you can see the moon behind Catwoman and behind Poison Ivy's hair a little bit. So like, I bet that was so difficult to render, but look, they've, they've done it. They've done it. Of course they have. They've definitely nailed the the vibe, and Batman is still like the the most vivid part of the piece as it should be. Super cool. Okay, I feel like I really need to like calm down on the superhero stuff. I feel like I've spent like forever talking about these. <laughs> okay, that really was the last one, and now we can move on to this Saturday's releases, which I have not had the opportunity to take much of a look at and apparently my computer didn't want to load it okay there it goes <laughs> okay this one is called moonlight by oh wow i'm gonna have to click that okay this is the artist's name and i'm i'm afraid that i'm gonna really mess it up uh Rinjitha anoop i apologize if i mess that up but i want to be sure that i mentioned the artist because i couldn't tell from the instagram handle what the name was <laughs> okay moonlight it is 71 centimeters by 56 centimeters. It's a round drill. Yay! Everybody's wanting those rounds to come back. It has 23 colors with four ABs. And those 23 colors are absolutely gorgeous, I've got to say. I, I'm really enjoying the color palette. I feel like that's a fancy way of saying that I like the colors, but I really, I really do like the colors. Okay, there we can see it on Facebook. And there's the rendering. This is so pretty. And wh what size was it? 71 by 56. See, that's nice. That's a good size. This, this is a very doable size to me. I think I had, have said that in plenty of other videos. I really like this size. It feels very finishable. And this one, this one's just really, really pretty. I would love for there to be like a pink or some pink ABs. I don't know. Maybe, do you think some of this might be purple, like lavender? I don't know if it's all pink, but you guys know I love pink. So maybe there's a pink AB in there. Okay, let's see the next one. I love this box. 
Is, is that what it's called? Fox. <laughs> okay, by Richard Clifton. It is 51 centimeter by 64 centimeter. Ooh, that's even better. That's even more finishable. <laughs> it's smaller. It's square drill. It has 41 colors with three ABs. And then there is the rendering. I'm not sure if it's cut off. Oh, wow. Big time it was cut off. And then here's the rendering. I love the way they've rendered the face. I mean, it's it's not like a absolute copy of this. Like they, they shaped it up a little so it could be more defined. And I think it's perfect. I love how it looks. Um, Do I need this? I really may need this. I, I like the way the background's done with like, it's not just a bunch of blocking back there. This is, I mean, I, I don't guess I would say it's confetti, but there's definitely a bunch of different greens going on back there. <laughs> That's, that is for sure. I think this one has a sneak peek. So that'll be linked below and you can take a look at that but I'm don't hold me to it what what if I didn't actually see that what if I'm completely making it up anyway um maybe it has a sneak peek I love his fur his her do we think this is a lady I'm not sure but I do like the fur I bet I bet there's a lot of confetti through there but I wonder how many different pretty like RNG browns there are through here I bet it's a bunch and I bet it's so gorgeous what about ABs for this one? How many did it say? Three. Hmm. Maybe a white. I would like that little pop in his eye there to be his, her, his, her. Sorry, I keep gendering the, the fox. Um, I would like for there to be a little pop right there that's AB maybe. And maybe these other white areas could be AB. I don't know. What, maybe this like shinier yellow is that a, would you call that yellow? It's, it's kind of light. Maybe it's more like a beige. I don't know. Maybe that could be, it might be something through the grass too. It might be just like green in the grass. I don't know. That, uh, I'm very curious to see how they do the ABs in that. Okay. Moving along this, there was only two, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. So we got to go to a different post now. Oh, this one, this is the one for me, I think. This week, this is the one I got to talk myself out of the most. Now, I really do like the, um, the, that one Batman one, and I really like the Fox one, and then we're, we've still got some to talk about, <laughs> but, uh, this one really struck me. I really like the rendering on it. Why don't I tell you what it is? It's Clover Fairy by Christine Karen. It is 56 centimeters by 71 centimeters. It is round drill. 48 colors with four ABs. Here is the rendering. Look at her. Just look at her. Okay, I'll show you the original again. This is another one that I was just really impressed with the rendering. Like it just is just good. I love how she looks. I, will, I cannot wait to see the skin tone choices because it looks like they are so good in in the rendering let me I, I really don't think it's cut off but was it was it cut off i don't think so but anyway there's the rendering on facebook um i really feel like i might need this it is it is a round drill and i feel like i've been working on a lot of rounds lately but i i just can't seem to talk myself out of this one i love it and now what did it say about the ab's um four I mean, there's got to be green ABs, right? Multiple green ABs. Or maybe, maybe like a pink in our lips. Probably not. It's probably, probably white. Probably white. And then maybe a bunch of greens. Wouldn't that be cool if there's a bunch of greens? Uh, I don't know if this one got a sneak peek or not. We'll just have to wait and see. But I'm, I'm so interested in this one. Okay. Another one in this post. Woohoo! This chubby cheek bunny. Is that even what he's called? <laughs> I don't know. Gray bunny with floppy ears. That's this one. It's by Susan Winget. It's 51 centimeters by 66 centimeters. Another round drill. 59 colors with four ABs. And then there is the rendering. I love his chubby cheek. Okay, I don't think it was cut off, but here it is on Facebook. And here is the rendering. It's so adorable. I love the little the little bunny. The I love the little ears. The little, I mean, everything about a bunny's cute, right? Like, what what can we say about a bunny that's not adorable? But the the florals in this are also really pretty, and we've got 
pink, so of course I'm into that. <laughs> and the background looks looks like a really cool effect back there. Like it's definitely not a solid color. There's definitely multiple things going on, but I'm not sure. It doesn't look confetti-ish. It looks like it's just two or three colors just kind of all over the place. It would probably be like keep you from getting bored if you are working on it. I mean, if you're the type of person that gets bored with color blocking. I mean, if you're not, then I don't know if you would like this or not. But I think that that would be cool and interesting. And then, of course, just this is just the cutest. Just absolutely the cutest. I think this would be fun to work on. I don't want to go on and on and on about it, but <laughs> it's very adorable. Okay, was that everything in this post? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Okay, now. I... I don't really know what we're going to do with these. So the next thing they announced or the last thing they've announced for this weekend's releases, two mysteries. And I don't really know how to discuss these with you because, I mean, I don't know anything about them. But they've announced that one is going to be, the category is going to be fantasy variety. And it's going to be by Chris Ortega. Also, the other one is going to be Fantasy Dragon category, and it's Anne Stokes. So, I can't tell you the sizing on these. I don't know the sizing, but I can't tell you. I can't tell you what the images are because I don't know. What we could do is look at some artwork by these two artists. But I almost don't want to do that because what if I accidentally show you the image? Like, I won't know that it's the one, but what if I show it to you and you purchase it and it turns out it is that one and then you're like, dang it, this guy showed me that already. So I don't really want to do that. I don't want to accidentally spoil somebody just by my lack of knowledge. But I, I do think that both Chris Ortega and Ann Stokes have, have a pretty large catalog of really, really excellent artwork. So I would definitely recommend going to, I know Ann Stokes has an Instagram. I don't know about Chris Ortega. So hang on, hang on. Okay, what I'm showing you here is Ann Stokes' Instagram handle. I'll just link to her down below and you can scroll through this whole page now if I, there are images here but this is just what's at the top of her instagram but you can definitely check out her artwork it's all gorgeous trust me and here we are this is chris ortega's instagram and i will link to that down below also i would really love to just do a quick scroll here but i'm so scared that i would show something that would upset someone um but they if if you're the type of person that wants to like do some exploration before you buy a mystery kit, then I would definitely recommend looking at their Instagram pages. I mean, I would recommend it if you just want to see some cool things and you don't care anything about the mystery kits because they these two artists have a very impressive catalog of artwork. Okay, I don't really guess there's any reason that I would need to show you this on Facebook because what's it going to cut off? The question mark? I mean, can see it's a question mark so i can't really tell you a whole lot about what fantasy variety um as far as fantasy dragon i think that's pretty clear there's going to be a dragon in it but um i can't tell you what vibe fantasy variety would be so um i feel like they're kind of keeping that as vague as possible because it's a mystery kit so i really don't i i I don't know how uh, how much information I could possibly give you about what that means, but uh, I'm just going to assume that it has like something fantastical going on. Like maybe there's magic or fairies or mermaids or um, even just like a princess that's not of this world. I don't know. I'll, like that could literally be anything. So... All I can suggest, if you're curious, is to check out artwork by artists. Um, if you're not curious, then good. Diamond Art Club has done a good job <laughs> of keeping it a mystery because we, 
we know nothing. So obviously there's not going to be sneak peeks of these two. So I won't have those links. I'll have the artist's Instagram. Okay, gosh, that made me nervous with the mystery kits. Like, I hope I didn't say too much. And I hope I just didn't, like, gloss it over and not say enough. I don't know. I don't know how to handle the mystery. Anyway, that is all for this week. It looks like a small amount, but really we covered a lot. There was a lot of hero villain stuff this time. And then we've got some really pretty stuff coming out this weekend. I'm very curious about the mystery kits. I'll have to, now, when the mystery kits happen, you always have to wait for them to release. Then after they release, you have to wait for everybody to order them. And then they get shipped out. And then finally, somebody will <laughs> post a picture somewhere. There is a Facebook group for mystery kits where you can post the, um, your progress on mystery kits from Diamond Art Club. So it, if you are interested in that, um, I'll try to remember to link to it below. If you, yeah, But, I mean, there won't be anything about these kits or until somebody gets the kits and they can open them up and put a picture because, like, we're, we don't know what it is <laughs> until someone gets it. But the bad thing about waiting to see when someone gets it is these do have a tendency to sell out. So if you wait, you might miss out. And if you get it, you run the risk of finding out it's not one you wanted. It's such a gamble with these mystery kits. Um, but you know they get me almost every time. I can't lie. Okay, you guys, this is the end of the video. We have reached the end of another new arrival roundup. I just realized that my monitor is in the shot. I'm sorry. It's probably been like that this whole time. I apologize. I also have a random Diamond Art Club box back there for no reason but hey i mean it's it's vibes this is a diamond painting channel after all so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was informative even though i feel like i couldn't give you very much information about those last kits but let me know in the comments if you're planning to purchase any kits this week and i will see you in the next video bye